In this video, I want to teach you complete double top because complete double top has four tick profits. So if you understand how the double top works, you will not just take the tick profit one and then you leave it alone. So this video will help you how to manage your tick profit and how uh, to maximize every money that you can get in the market. So how a complete double top looks like, uh, this is episode five. Imagine I have done uh, five videos talking about double top. And I think now in the next lessons, episode six, I will start talking about double bottom. So yeah, double top, I think we have really exhausted. So if I have a complete double top, it's something like this. I have my first top and this is my half. So I have my first top, my second top, and then I have my half. And then now what happens, I have my half and I have my neckline. What I mean by complete double top is when the market finishes up to there. So it will come to this half. So here is TP1. Um, now here is one, TP1. Here is TP2. This is TP3. And this is TP4. So that is what a complete double top looks like. So for TP1, we use WBB strategy. For TP2, we use BOS, break of structure. So break of half, break of half, BOH, break of half. To go from the neckline, so to go here to the neckline, to the half, from the neckline to the half, that one, I don't know if I will teach you because we use BWA. BWA is in the course, it's not free. So we use BWA strategy. And then when you are going to the, to the half distance to here, you can use also BWA. So BWA is what you use on the three and four. And you see BW is not in the public again. So for me, I would really, um, it's my my prayer that if you have a chance to grab the course where you can learn the BW strategy, if you want to complete the whole double top, you can. If you are not able, you be trading from TP1, WBB have taught you in the break of half up to the neckline. If you want to complete, it's the BW strategy. I don't know other strategy that you can use to three and four. Okay, so here we have a double top. I want to show you this double top um, gave us a complete double top. So here we have a double top that has not yet been activated. So the first thing you will find, if this is where you have found your market, and then you look at the left, there's nothing, there's no obstacle making this market to to stop. There's no resistance making this market to stop. So meaning it can still continue to move up. That's why you start from the current market. So we wait for the market to get um, activated and you can see we have an activation. And most of the time the activation is not a must. It is be a green candle. It can also be a red candle. So here we will use WBB strategy. So in the WBB strategy, we wait for a red candle and it is there. It has not engulfed, so I will put a box. So that's what WBB strategy means. Then I will measure my distance. They are measuring my distance like that. I measure my distance. So once I measure my distance, I have my half. So I say it, half is take profit one. Number one, take profit one. Number two. And then if I want to go to number three and four, I will have to measure this distance. So these double tops, if they break neckline, trust me, they are going all that distance. So I have distance, you see, distance three and four. So the question is, how do I trade? How do I trade all this and make money? So we are here with you and I'll show you. So here, we are waiting for the market to break. So once the candle breaks like that, we have a way to enter up to half, and that is 108 pips. So we come and do short position. 
we enter up to there. So we will just monitor the trade in one candle has not yet activated. We have hit our TP of 108. You wait for the break of half. So let's half break. So we cannot say this is breaking of half because this candle has closed with a, it's called a what? A closed with a gap. So we cannot really say that this is a, a green candle or a, a breaking half, BOH. So we will wait for a red candle. You see what happens? Imagine if you didn't take your profit, all of them it would have been taken and it's 148 pips. So we wait for half to break. And you can see, as we are waiting for this half to break, don't be surprised this can be a cup and handle. So don't be in a rush because the market can create a cup and handle even without knowing. Um, the market can create a cup and handle even without knowing. So what they can do, they can come here and create the cup. This is the handle. And as we are waiting for the market to break at the half, they break on the upper side. There is nothing you can do, imagine. Because once that happens, it means that market wants to buy. So that's why I tell people, don't be in a rush. So we have seen here, we can have a double bottom that is an obstacle for our, our trade. So as you enter your cell, you will still be monitoring for any red flag. Red flag, if you have a bullish engulf, Imagine if you are trading this double, you are you are on a sale because of this double top have broken half, then you get a bullish engulf. That is an exit. You just close that trade because it means this double bottom has been taken. So trading half to the neckline is the most delicate part in the in the double tops. Trading here because the, a lot can happen. So let's see what happens after we have entered the trade. You can see we had a green candle. So your exit will always, you are selling, but you have put that box and saying, if they break above, me, I will cancel that trade. That's how we trade with exit in mind. But they broke uh, below. So the market going to sell. And let's see how many pips. So for TP2, it is easier. So it is going down, going down up to the neckline. So here, this is where I've said, now to go to TP3 and 4, we will use BWA strategy. And because that one is for my student, I won't talk about it. But you can imagine if we use the BWA strategy, uh, we'll just be observing. And that candle had given us an entry using BWA strategy. And after that, the market went tapped the dry, the that line and continued up to the fourth uh, entry. So that's how you trade a complete double top, guys. That is how you trade a complete double top. It's not as easy as it may sound, but if you follow through, you can imagine it's better you don't make all this money, but don't think of buying. Because majority of people, and this double top was delicate because it was a double top on an uptrend. And you know, we say double tops on an uptrend are not easy to trade. But you see this one, it's always an uptrend. But it, it is sold. So at the end of the day, you have to be very extremely careful, extremely careful whenever you're doing the trades. All the best, guys. I hope with all the videos I have done about double top, you're in a position now to trade any double top. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.